camera is there. <laughs> well, I know that's what I'm looking at. I'm not gonna sing when the camera is there. I'm gonna sing when the camera is there. Oh, it's not recording? No. Going to sing. Oh! What? What are you doing? What are the camera? <laughs> you want it? You want it? I don't like the zombie a bit. Yeah, man, I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah. I told you yesterday. Yeah, wait. Okay, okay. Take some sick to the office. You are looking like my dress. Oh, my sick from Holy Fire. What is this? I don't want to lost my eyes. Ah, holy shit. I don't want to let my eyes. Put your fucking phone down. Look there. Watch that. Kind. Oh, no sun. No oh. sun. Did you? But yeah, what is because you're standard? a dungeon creature, bro. Hey, you're good. But open, bro. What are you doing? I've already won that fucking shit. It's not with me, it's a suit. Ready to shoot? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dean. Guys, I think we can win both. Dude, can I get that fucking trophy, guys? Can we win something? <laughs> yeah, we can join the checklist. One thing I want from my team to do better is probably cover each other's back when someone's having a bad day. Yeah, that's a good point. Second point could be, yeah, making sure that everyone is practicing with the same goal in mind. What would you say is the same goal? Win. And I mean, win LEC, right? And go to MSI. This is the shortest goal. Then in summer, it will be different. It's just about talking. Like everyone, because yesterday we were not talking at all and we were not connected in the game. I'm just try to play good. <laughs> oh, what's it like? <laughs> you say? Ah, okay, I'll take it. Just try to play. Like, try to imitate stage games as much as possible. I think we are doing pretty well in scrims. I think against everyone, honestly. Like, we might have one day when we drop a bit. Outside of that, I think we almost never lost a scrim block. In scrims, a lot of times, you just get lead, and then maybe you have, like, one Drake set up or something, and then the game is over because people will just contest. Whereas in officials, and mainly BDS does that quite well, is that people will just do nothing for five minutes, and there is a Drake, everything is about the Drake setup. Then there is nothing happening after five minutes. Then you have another Drake, another setup. We've never been in these positions in scrims where we are either late to the Drake objective or it's like only setups, only setups. It's something that we are still working on on scrims to get better at. You're trying to find a specific spot to show. Tell me, what are the, what, the, what is everything? Kaka, kaka, what is kaka, kaka? <laughs> in Spanish? Yeah, you can say in Spanish. It's based on. Do it again. Ka, ka, ka. Yeah. Oh, we're hitting with everything. Ah, it's a <laughs> what you need to do is win, win the split and then Kavi will make the pool, you know, so we can go... The sauna. The sauna. The sauna. And we'll get an inflatable pool. But he said it doesn't count for, Dude, for this... Dude, uh, start yeah. building it or now, because we are going to win. I agree. So, <laughs> so we have it ready. And then and we should get a pool and we do a pool party. And, 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 and every week we invite... What? We invite, we invite only the teams that won. <laughs> <laughs> but if we lose, we are still invited. <laughs> It's really important that Oscar communicates a lot because this team really plays for Drake yeah. and they, have t they will have TP and we have Ignite, okay? Yeah. So we need to be very careful about what fights we take on both, okay? Yeah. They this also team. overgroup mid always, okay? Yes. Marek, you, you know this team, they always overgroup mid, so whenever we uh, have possibility to take their side wave, you have to be very vocal, okay, and you back guys, back. the mid unit, don't get, don't get engaged, okay? Because you have to talk a lot this game game. about this TP, okay? Against BDS, we went into the game with like certain prep against them. Honestly, we kind of gave them the best composition that they can, could wish for because of BDS, how they want to play. So they, re they had really good comp also. Yeah, I mean, we just... <laughs> 
played pretty poor, you know. You can't say more than that because it was just poor showing. Ball breaker over the wall. Razork now in the area. Wants to walk in, wants to get the smite. All of BDS turn on the jungler. They will not let that come through. Now the follow-up engages there. Noah isolated on the backside. The shockwave oh is too damn clean. Discipline from BDS. BDS take a little bit extra time, but they're going to close this one out in style. And I think today my mechanic was bad too. In team fight or something. But actually like... We could win, yeah, but I fucked up. Fights were really chaotic in general. Like it felt like we didn't really know what to do, in my opinion. Like, I think we were not like, positioning well, like everyone, what it, he should be, you know. So they were really chaotic and we couldn't really play them. And after we got behind, it was kind of unplayable after the third break, I think, because they were unkillable in fights. Played bad mechanically, kind of most of the time. Everyone, I think. Or I don't know if everyone, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> most of us, I would say. Before the game, I felt like puking. I couldn't focus. Level 3, if I'm a human being, this symptom is mega fucked. Mm -hmm. On Grom, I'm j I just didn't even look at the minimap and I gave Grom for free. Mm -hmm. I just played everything but mechanically. In reality, I would just let this one go. Yeah. Focus on rest and recovering tonight and come back in with a fresh bit of energy, right? And same as Thomas said, whatever you guys need, just to help you know, prepare. Whatever we can do, just, just let us know, right? Fucking maybe. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yesterday the game started, and I, I, when the when the first camp spawned, I was seeing two two blue buffs instead of one. I couldn't fucking focus. But that's good. You got a blue buff. God. Okay, we have to buy this suit when we go out, and then you have to do the hair like that. That's me. Holy that's shit. You? That's me. I was uh, I was crazy. Model. <laughs> Yesterday I was uh, at a fashion show. I don't think Marek should get second coffee, by the way. Chulkin. What? Look, 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 look. Husky, look at this face. And he will end up in the run out of the way. Oh, no, I think I can do June, what do you think about like first pick Nautilus this week? What if you fight in your life with those questions? No, 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 don't worry. Look at Marek. Look at Marek and me. We, we have you covered, okay? I'm taking those, he's taking exactly. Okay, okay not, not threats. Then you win. Okay, okay. okay, what does a good game look like today, guys? Uh, World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft? Yeah. Hello, hello, good luck. Hello, hello. Good luck to you. The game against SK, we kind of wanted to prove to ourselves after the bad game against BDS that K okay, was just a bad day or we just played bad or whatever excuse you want to have. We were pretty confident to beat SK. Uh, I think we had a really insane draft also. In the early game, June, Ivan, after usual, try to talk about when you grew, grew and when and how we control river. How do we team fight? Front to back? Front yeah. to back. I mean, if I can hold anyone, like Corky or Varus, we can go in. Just because we are not going too deep, because fights will look like Rael probably goes in, you will go in, and then you both will die. Yeah. And yeah, so the other four will be playing. Rael well, is not going in, I will fuck it. See her fire like five monster cues. I appreciate that. I'm one of those lots of people. <laughs> I am so tired of this champion having one ability. There it is. There's the one ability. Followed up with what might look like another ability. Don't be baited. But massive healing comes in from the Renekton as Irrelevant still continues to buy time. But only two members this time committed to the bottom lane. Already though, you can see in the picture and picture the Renekton takes forever to kill because they don't do enough damage. SK are right onto the objective. There's no TP for Humanoid. Oscar has TP though. He could TP in from the side. There's a TP ward there on that. Oh, SK, what's the call? You just spent so much, you lost so much already, you need to turn back and try to get something. Is it the Baron? Razork in the back of the pit, TP now coming in from Oscar. They can SK? turn onto the Nash. They just turned back and burn the objective, SK, it's no! A okay. Oh my god! Fanatic fans, give SK a round of applause. It's one of the greatest leashes we've seen in pro play. That was terrible. Fanatic punishes.
judging SK for their indecisiveness. They had to pull the trigger. They failed to. It jammed on them. Again, they are not locked yet. If they win here, they're locked. If they lose, it's BDF who's locked, and there's one less slot overall. Execute getting poked on the backside. Rads are going in, but Fnatic have they overcommitted once more? No. Another Mantra Q. No one is hitting Humanoid. He's allowed to rain. Hellfire down upon them. A good pick to start it off. SK fire back. This key potentially getting over aggressive here. Humanoid now trying to dash to the safety. Good Sun comes in from Doss. Flashed over the wall from Irrelevant to punish. See Irrelevant ulting already for Fury. Yep, flashing from Razak. He knows Execute doesn't have flash, and they just delete the enemy carry. Point and click, seek and destroy. Niski, the last one standing, the last one who could do the damage necessary. Flash away for the Mantra Q, the inner flame. Forcing Niski oh, back, but the taxi play from Jun is clean. This man's an Alistair master. Just punishing left and right. Fnatic, one or two mistakes, but overall an incredibly clean game versus SK. <laughs> Better than yesterday, but still we were mega shit, so we should improve. Because when we did jungle two v two one and both two v two one, and game was over, but we throw we threw sometimes. I think we had really good early game. Like I think our first 14, 12 minutes were mega good, and then we just completely dropped uh, the discipline. I feel like uh, after we got second Drake, if we just play standard. There is nothing happening, you know, and it just felt like we were doing plays one by one <coughs> and we were disrespecting the enemies a lot. That's why I felt. It feels like we lost our foresight and very clear direction and identity of how we play. The only pre-planned, the only pre-planned plays that we had in this game was in the mid-game when Marek was saying, if these guys go for this wave, ITP, and then towards the late, when Ivan started to micromanage Noah and others. We need to kind of work on this and get back to it. Because beforehand, if I would be watching this game, as Ivan said, if you guys win this early game the, the way that we did, and we shouldn't honestly, then this game would be full, full on stomp. We are playing one more game against Mad Lions and then we are going into playoffs. We need to step up. What we are trying to achieve this split is kind of not having bad games or not throwing our lead at all, at any cost. Honestly, I felt like before this week, I felt like we're achieving this goal a bit better, this split, right? But then, of course, it's like closer to playoffs and then the classic fanatic fan needs his heart beating at like 130 per minute. So, yeah, I guess that, that's it. If I would roll up to all your rolls, I would completely destroy you. <laughs> no. Yeah. Bro, you can't even clear. So. You should yeah. you should say thank you to me because I didn't choose middle. What can you give water? No water. No. Water. Wait, wait until he say me out. Yeah. No drop balls. You have to. Keep your hands up. No, I used to your hands because you're gonna drop it. Okay, Jesus. Right, ready? Two right. balls in, let's go. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. At the end, more balls. <laughs> what? <laughs> right. Tell you. Okay, look, no. Matt. Three, two, one, go. Jesus. Stop blowing. There's two. What? what? No, I, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. I know how inside I'm so bad. <laughs> one day we will get them. <laughs> And we're going to be heading into the match of the week because what exactly is on the line? We have Fnatic that is going to be locking themselves into that first spot if they do win. But the dragon already gone. Mirwin needs to run forward. Ram stands can't just be unstoppable, but he doesn't use it in time. The activation. Oh, okay, now trying to keep them all in the midst. Four members stacked up. Lightning crash. Everyone was caught in the wall. He can't get over. Press Kelly off to the side. The charm now going into it. Connects with the Volbear. Gets the reset. Humanoid trying to lay down a bit more damage. But just Press Kelly standing behind him and Mad Lions Koi. Taking two out in the process. The fall off dive. One more dash available for Frescawi. The wave about to collapse. Noah and Jun doing everything they can to defend the tower. Frescawi goes a little bit too soon, though. He doesn't need to make that play. Noah now trying to back away. Ultra Shock Laser goes in. Noah getting shipped down. Crash down, not quite there. Cleanse all the out to safety. But MDK still play it damn clean. Guy Splitter. Supa does get locked up, though, but immediately cleanses out to safety. The hostile takeover buying all the space the Zeri needs. Lightning. Cutting through the back line of Fnatic, Humanoid now backing away. Noah's got nowhere else to go, a killer instinct. 
More like an instinct of desperation. I expected a close match. I was ready for Fnatic to slaughter. I was not ready for this level of dominance for Mad Lions, boy. What a clean way to end the regular season. So obviously I'm not very happy with, with today's performance. Um, I have a few things to say that we need to fix, right? It's or they, they should never, never, ever, ever happen. I feel like we were not really focusing on the on the game itself. We were just playing for ourselves, you know. Yeah. Everyone was playing for themselves. You I know? agree with that. So the game was like, okay, we were fucked, but we didn't do any play as a team. We were not really playing to actually like knowing that we can get first place. That's my feeling. When we are behind, we have to be on the right spot at the right moment for enemies to fuck up. That's literally it. I mean, I want to say like, if we are behind them, we shouldn't make something, right? But I think we no. we didn't. No, no, no. We should punish enemy mistakes. No, they will do mistakes. For example, enemy team they fucking did insane mistake. That is swapping to get three void crabs when second Drake is spawning. We have full Drake uh, position, and we are making a year more mistake that we get ace and <coughs> we can't play the game. It's disgusting. We can first see the lose. <laughs> it's fine. In playoff, we will win. Why are laughing? <laughs> I mean, I can't do it. Number one? Nothing to be happy about. Number one, baby. Nothing. Nothing. After this, after today's performance, we played perfect today. <laughs> I feel good about being pl first place because of it's kind of like a reward for the players for their hard work and effort and everything, right? But I don't feel good about it at all because it just shows, or the last weekend kind of showed that EU is still doomed. If you have best teams uh, going into the last weekend and you see all of the best teams are just losing their matches, you know, it's just not good. We have Giants, Mad Lions, G2. Overall, I feel very confident going into playoffs because it's BO3 and then hopefully be off ice, right? What we struggle the most with, I guess now, is like having that, that one bad game where we mess up big time, right? And I think if that happens, we will be able to bring ourselves back. So I think against Giants, we should win. I would like to play G2, actually. I'm quite confident against them now. So I think we should be able to beat them in BO3. And then, then there is the BO5, right, for, for, for final, and we'll see who we face, yeah.